Hello everyone, this is Anton Dinaj from PocketNow.com and this is the LG Optimus 3D. It's coming to AT&T at the LG Thrill 4G and in this video we're gonna take a look at the software LG bundles with it. So without any further ado, let's get to the software tour. This is the lock screen on the LG Optimus 3D and it's the same as it's on the LG Optimus Black, the LG Optimus 2X aka the T-Mobile G2X. It's your typical slide out to unlock lock screen a la Windows Phone 7. Once you unlock your phone this is what you get the LG UI and it's a little bit disappointing at first because one would expect a 3D user interface but number one because of the permanent 3D user interface and the usage of 3D in a permanent mode will deplete your battery dramatically one and two because the 3D effect is only available in landscape mode we are only greeted with a 2D user interface and this is the same also and on the HTC Evo 3D that aside it's your basic typical classic LG user interface and we will not emphasize that much on it because it's not the main selling point of the phone. We will mention though that there are five home screens and you can have a total number of seven which you can swipe through left and right as you would on any Android phone and you can customize with widgets, icons, wallpapers and so on and so forth and we'll take a look at how it's done. You have to long tap on a home screen and select whether you want to add a widget, a shortcut, a folder or a wallpaper. Now in terms of widgets don't expect to have a cornucopia of widgets as you would have on an HTC Android smartphone but you have some typical um, analog clock, Facebook, finance, so on and so forth, your basic widgets. In terms of shortcuts, you have shortcuts to applications or frequently accessed uh, settings. You have the ability of adding a certain folder or creating a folder on one of your home screens and change the wallpaper either to a wallpaper which comes preloaded on the Optimus 3D or a stock Android live wallpaper which are the same as you'd expect on any Android phone. So let's get back to the home screen and take a look at what's really important, the 3D aspect of the phone. You can jump into 3D in one of the two following ways. Number one, you can either tap the 3D space icon or you can press and hold the 3D button on the side of the phone and we'll do just that. As the phone enters its 3D user interface or a 3D launcher, let's just zoom in on the screen and whatever you see here is in three dimensions. Needless to say that the little fella playing golf right here is popping out of the screen but this effect cannot be captured and played back with our camera but please believe me it's somewhere floating above the screen you can almost grab him. So the 3D effect is rather good. That aside, we have five shortcuts on this launcher. We have 3D games, we have the 3D guide. These icons are also animated and they're popping out of the screen. We have YouTube 3D, we have 3D gallery, and we have 3D camera. Now the 3D games holds your preloaded games. And these are, of course, Nova, Asphalt 6, Let's Golf, Gulliver's Travels, Wikitude, and Archercraft were downloaded by us. 3D Guide is something interesting if you want to know more about creating, viewing, sharing or connecting. And uh, let's say you want to create 3D content and it will tell you what's the optimum distance to your subject, what's the optimum holding angle and focus and so on and so forth. And it's the same with the viewing. It will tell you what distance to keep between your eyes and the screen and what angle. Let's get back. One more. And we'll see. This was 3D Guide U2 3D. Now everybody thought that LG will bundle a dedicated 3D YouTube client. But it's not that. It's just your typical YouTube application which will launch let's go to landscape which will launch as a shortcut to the 3D channel on YouTube. Now this 3D channel collects as favorites and as playlists most of the 3D 
videos that are on YouTube. So you have everything in one place and you can uh, easily tap on one video to um, take a look at it. And this is of course also in 3D. It doesn't come you cannot see it, but uh, believe us, it's 3D and you can see it by the two images overlaid, so it's kind of blurry on our camera and on your display. Let's get right back. So this was YouTube 3D. We've got a 3D gallery, which is a 3D place, gallery of course, excuse the expression, which holds up all your captured videos or images on the phone and it's it has a carousel-like display and you can switch between displays to a more rounded spatial carousel. Tapping on either one will um, play back the video or display the image. Of course this is 3D. Now if we are in the playback mode you can easily switch between 3D and 2D by tapping this button or pressing the dedicated 3D button at the top and you can adjust the depth of the display by tapping the 3D button on the left. Sliding the slider to the left will bring you more immersed in the image. And how should I explain this better so you can visualize it? Uh, grabbing the slider and dragging it all the way to the left will make the image look deeper into the space. Dragging it to the far right will bring the image closer to your eyes. So this is something really, really cool. Let's get, get just back from uh, from the gallery to the main launcher and I think this was the last category in this launcher. No, we got 3D camera. Now the 3D camera is a shortcut which will launch the camera application in 3D mode. The camera application has two modes, one for capturing normal two-dimensional images and videos and one for capturing 3D, cap, capturing 3D videos and pictures. Tapping this icon will automatically start the camera in 3D mode. And this is just about, just about it when it comes to LG's custom 3D user interface or launcher. There is no other 3D content on the phone except for the 3D preloaded games, YouTube and the content you capture yourself. Let's jump right back and uh, let's take a look at some more aspects of the software on the LG Optimus 3D like for instance the email application. Now tapping this little fella here will bring you to the email application itself which has a nice ability to be collapsed and expanded in terms of emails which are on your phone. This is neat if you want to have a clean aspect of your inbox which is by the way a combined inbox so here you will have a list of all your of your accounts which are currently set up on your phone and going to either one of them or to your combined inbox is just one tap away. So you can uh, collapse and expand your messages, either all of them or you can expand them one by one according to the date which you would like to read. And creating a new message is very easy. This is the LG soft input panel or keyboard which we found to be pretty good. It's comparable to the SIP on the iPhone 4. It's accurate. It's got a uh, vibration, haptic feedback, as well as a sound feedback. It works pretty, pretty well. Let's get back and let's take a look at the calendar application because email, calendar and multimedia is what you'll do most with this phone. Let's just find, here it is, the calendar. It's basically your typical Android calendar. It's got a display for month, for week, for day and an agenda view and um, it's pretty much nothing special, just your Android calendar. Now the LG Optimus 3D is shipping with Android 2.2 Froyo. It's, it's gonna get 2.3 gingerbread summer in October if the rumors are true. And as such it will come with the 2.2 Froyo browser installed with of course a little bit of LG Touch. You have a button for back for forward, tapping this button will bring you to your tabs. You can navigate through them or you can manually close either one of them. And um, let's see how fast it loads the page. As we can see, meanwhile it's already loaded. We have flash animations enabled, so this is why you'll find the scrolling to be a little bit choppy. 
but else it's working pretty well zooming in and zooming out is done with no lag it's fluid and this is because the LG Optimus 3D is built upon a tri-dual technology architecture we have three times dual which is three times one dual core processor two dual channel memory and dual memories so this is the tri-dual architecture on the LG Optimus 3D and the uh, browser as well as multimedia content is taking advantage of that we'll post some scores uh, which we have uh, from our benchmarks downloaded and uh, it's pretty good it's in line or even above the HTC sensation but you have to read the full review to find out the exact numbers let's get back and uh, let's see the camera application tapping this button here brings you to your camera application which is basically your typical Android camera and uh, once it fires up you will see that you have a 2d 3d button camera won't focus. yeah that's right let's go into landscape a 2d 3d button by default it launches in 2d and the only camera which is capturing images is this one right here let's see if we cover that we cover the image if we cover the other one nothing happens now the second camera is activated once you switch to 3d mode and then both cameras will capture your image aside from this not much more is customized it's your pretty basic camera application let's go through the 3d settings here and um, we have the ability to adjust our depth just as with the uh, with the gallery and the picture video player itself you can uh, either bring the image closer to your eyes or have a boxed vision inside your screen then we have uh, settings for adjusting exposure we have settings for the dimensions for the image we have 3 megapixels, 2 megapixels and 1 megapixel and the basic settings 3D focus mode which board, which uh, from which you can choose is border and center excuse me let's get back we found center to be better but it's up to you white balance timer auto review shutter sound so on and so forth let's get back to the home screen and let's take a look at what else we have here the music player is nothing new if you have an LG phone or you have seen an LG phone it will bring you all of your albums loaded on the phone and you can choose from display types of songs albums artists and playlists and going to albums and flipping to landscape mode will bring you to this wall of, um, of album art with the um, their respective initials so you, you can easily jump to a certain letter or you can see what the album name is according to the letter it is after tapping on it will bring you to the album view and you can play it and once the music is playing you can of course control it from your notification area which sports also shortcuts for muting for disabling wireless for enabling or disabling Bluetooth GPS and your data connection let's jump back to the home what else we have here we have widgets for favorite contacts which you can of course customize and we have a social plus widget which is LG's widget for social networking and it's got integration with Twitter and Facebook it will automatically bring you the news according to the interval of your choice when it will pull for what's new and bring it to the palm of your hand so this was a very short look at the software on the LG Optimus 3D we're sure it will be more or less the same on the AT&T 4G2 don't expect 3D content unless you are in the dedicated 3D launcher you are playing 3D YouTube videos you are playing one of the pre-installed games in 3D or you are capturing your own content anything else is two-dimensional but I'm sure as time will go by and 3D will become more of a habit instead of a gimmick we will have 3D permanent displays in the palm of our hands this was Anton D. Knight from PocketNow.com taking a look at the software on the LG Optimus 3D if you liked this video please give us a thumbs up and thank you very much for watching